Boom! Welcome to this edition of Boom Muscle Silver Sneaker Edition. My name is Jesse Swear, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, silver sneaker flex instructor, and you can find out more about me, visit my website, www.jessieswear.com. Now, if you've taken the Boom Muscle with me, you can do this in the seated position, or the standing position, or a combination of both. Boom Muscle is an action pack up your game, up your level, for the participant, for the individual, where we utilize lightweight dumbbells, which I have over there, and we do action intervals. Now there's lightweight dumbbells, you can utilize um, your imagination, just use your fist, you can use anywhere up to five pounds, if you go a little heavier, that's a little more advanced. I do about five pounds, you can do one pound, you can do a water bottle, you can do a stuffed animal, you can do a remote control, um, to use as that device or that leverage to create some intensity throughout your workout. Now, when we do go to those lightweight dumbbells, we are going to be doing more compound sets, so we're gonna be working on specific groups of muscles to build not only strength, endurance, but hypertrophy as well. That's the growth of the muscle because we're atrophying as we age and those tendons shorten as well. And then we're gonna do action intervals. Those action intervals look athletic in sense or in theory, and I know you might not think you're an athlete anymore, but you still are, and we're going to put you to the test today with those action intervals. Now, before we get started, there's a few things. If you have any lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue, hit the pause, come back a little later. The other thing is that virtual five, you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise with me, you assume all dangers, hazards, risks of such participation. Exercises demonstrated by the instructor in this online class can be demanding. If you're able to safely perform these exercises, please modify them or choose a different set of exercises. Number two, I can't see you, I can't hear you. Pay attention to your form, pay attention to your mechanics. If you are in the standing position, tuck the belly, tuck the tailbone, stay in the seated position. Chest out, shoulders up, back and down. Toes over knees, knees over hips, hips over shoulders. And make sure that you can shift your weight to the left and to the right and forward and backwards because we might be doing some standing and some seated exercise routine today. Again, a combination of both if you like or you can stay in that seated position the entire time. Three, breathe, inhale, exhale. Four, ready for seated exertion. One through 10. I know I'm going fast because I'm trying to get these exercises with you. Um, 10 being the high on that rate of that scale of perceived exertion, 1 being the very low, 5 being in the middle, you know, at 6, 7, 8, don't move 8, yeah, let's go. And then your hydration, I got mine there, you got yours up there, and let's grab those lightweight dumbbells. I'm going to grab my set right now. I got a 5, so if I skipped out of the screen a little bit, there we were. And I'm going to sit on the edge of that chair with my 5 pound. Now, if you're in a seat and you are in a wheelchair, you're going to have to put your arms out a little farther just to get to this motion because you can't bring them here because you'll bounce into things. So same, it's lazy boy. So you want to have a chair without any armrest, and again, you want to sit up on the edge of the chair, as I am, so that you can do these exercises and get a nice concentrated curl. So here we go, three. So if you notice four, as I come this curl, five, they're not coming straight up and down. Six, they're coming on an angle. Seven, because that's the natural anatomy of your bicep. Let's do one more, and then let's go to that right side for eight. One, two, it's getting a little warmed up here. Three, four, five, before we, six, put a bunch of exercises together. Seven, and then eight, and then let's get another eight on this side, two, and then we'll get really started. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, awesome job. I want you to take over to that right hand. I want you to put you at a 90 degree angle. So I want you to hold that elbow nice and tight to that rib cage. And I want you to take that left hand now and I want you to curl it up so that is next to your cheek right here. And I want you to press it up. One, two. So that palm's facing you. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rest it, bring it down, take that right up. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Now you're in isometric form right here. That's what you're doing. You're in isometric. You're holding against an immovable object. The immovable object is the weight. Curl them up. Now press them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest them again. There we go. On that isometric hold. Let's hold it for a four count. Four, three, two, one. Curl them up. Back to that hold. Curl them up. Back to that hold. Curl. 
Hold, you got it. One, two, three, four. How are they feeling? Five, that isometric should sit, want to pull you down. Seven and eight, hold them there. And now we're going to alternate right, left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rest them down. How'd you do with that first dynamic routine of dumbbells? Grab that hydration, let's get ready, because this is boom, and we do move in this position. And if you be seated or be standing, we want you to grab that hydration, get your arms out to the side. There you go, pulse them up and down. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of calisthenics here, all right? So calisthenics, when you think about calisthenics, you're thinking about jumping jacks, you're thinking about toe touches, you're thinking about mountain climbers, you're thinking about jump rope, right? So let's get that jump rope out before we go to those jumping jacks. Get those mountain climbers as well. We're going to do all types of different things today. You got your jump rope. Let's get that left leg moving with that jump rope. There you go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, right side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, tap on both, walk on out. There you go. Woo. Come on. Keep it moving. Cross them in the front. Nice. Yes. Go to that jack next in four, three, two, one. Rest those legs up in jack above the head. Two. Now, if you can't get full extension here, five, you can always take the arms in front of you, seven or eight, let's go right side now, one, two, just arms, three, let's do the left side for four, one, two, three, four, now let's take that left leg, right arm up, two, heel tap, three, four, five, six, seven, and other side, left, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now both, not legs, but arms, two, in the front if you need to, four, five, six, seven, and now we're going to go knee touches, one, two, three, four, five, I need to drive the knee up, six, seven, eight, left, right, one, two, so you reach out, Three, bring that knee up, four, five, six, seven, and now alternate right, three, and it's just a march, four and five, and you're driving six, seven, and eight, and rest, awesome job, get your hydration, get your drink, let me get rid of some of these wimps on this machine as I'm eating them as I go, Ooh, and you don't be distracted by that, and I don't be distracted by that as well. Get your hydration, grab those lightweight dumbbells and get ready because here we go. Part two. Lightweight dumbbells. Lightweight dumbbells. Edge of that chair. Whew. Arms down side in that pronated position. Swing them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just right side only. One, two, three, four. We're going to add the legs five in this exercise as well. Six, seven, and eight with the knee because we're going to work that hip. Two, three from the seated position or the standing position. Five, and it's going to be opposite. Six, seven. It's going to be a little cross coordination as we go right, left, drive the leg up. Two, Three, four, and again, if you can't, five, drive the knee. Six, seven, and just drive that arm. Eight, and then other side. One, two, and right arm rest. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest them. We're not going to alternate. I'm going to turn those hands around in the supinated position. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my body with that arm, I'm going to come across right side, and I'm going to kick out with that left leg. So it's going to look like that. One, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that right left one, two, three. So as I'm tapping four, my toe, five, six, seven, alternate, one, two, nice and tall, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest them. I know you can't do them both together. No, 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 no. Contra indicated exercise to do that. Grab a little bit of hydration. Let's get back to that action interval. Imagine football season is almost over, so get some football drills in here. A little marching, a little running, right? There you go. March, 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 march. Ah, running down that field. Let's do a five yard sprint. Here we go. Three, two, and one, five yard sprint. That's good. There you go. High step it. That's your high step. All right? Let's go back to that five yard sprint. A three, two, and one, five yard sprint. Good. High step. Good. Let's take it up. Let's do a 10 yard sprint. A three, two, and one. 10 yard sprint. A little longer. All right, good. March it out. Good marching. There you go. You want to do a 15 yard sprint. Here comes the 15 yard. Three, two, and one. You got to keep on moving nice and fast. Yeah, we're almost at 15. March it out. Oh, you're a little tired of here. 20 yard. You got 20 yard left in you. I know you got a 20 yard sprint left in you at home. March them out. March them out. Take a little extra march here as we do this. And then get that 20 yard sprint. Here we go. Three, two, and one. 20 yard sprint. Move those feet. Move those arms. And you're just tapping those feet. You're just moving those arms right 10 yards. Yeah. Keep going. Rest. Awesome job. Get the hydration. Let's move on. We got another round. We got the third round, the final round. I didn't hear no bell. Let's go. Grab that lightweight dumbbell. We're just going to grab one this time. So if you have one or you have a water bottle, just make sure that cap's on there nice and tight so that you're not losing any water all over you. And we're going to just take those feet left and right, nice and wide, right here in the sumo. And I'm just going to drop it down right here like this. And I'm going to bend, dropping that weight down here, keep my head above my heart, and I'm going to pull back and squeeze my lower back. There you go. So this is a good morning exercise. A little bit of RDL as well. The only difference is with RDL, you're not going to really hit your glutes, but you're going to widen those hips, you're going to strengthen those hips, and you're going to get that lower back as well. Three, four, five. And as you can see, Six, I'll show the ankle big version over here. I'm just dropping here. Seven and eight. So the real key is to get that left leg nice and wide and that right leg nice and wide. And this weight is just going straight down. And as it goes straight down, you bend as well. But you're only bending when you keep the head above the heart coming on up. Good, nice little curl. Twist. Back and forth. You got it. Good. Ooh, I can feel that waking me up today. Legs are still in that sumo stance. As I go back and forth, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and drop down now through back and forth, right? You got it. Gosh, there we go. Ooh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, up, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, drop down, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. And you see my body is really planted where I'm just trying to get a little rotation in that torso and through my arms where my hips, my legs, they're not bending, they're not moving at all. It's just that torso region, um, that thoracic spine, which should be rotational, and work on that flexion and extension as you get rid of those lightweight dumbbells, bring those feet back in, you can walk them in like this, or you can just jump them in. It's up to you. Hydrate, last part of this boom muscle routine. I know you got it at home. I know I got it. You got it, we all got it. Get those hands out, wiggle those fingers. Whew. Get dizzy. Go with drums. There you go. Boom. 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 Right side. Boom. Now, we want to keep that left arm in an isometric hole because we're trying to strengthen that left arm up as well. Especially those that have some rotator cuff issues. So take that left arm all the way out to the side. Keep banging that right arm. You're a drummer. Let's go. Get that left leg now. You hear the beat. Hear the beat. Good. Switch it up. Left and left. Three, two, one. You got it. Now, in the switch, switch to left and right. Three, two, one. There you go. Both hands, three, two, one. Good, 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 good. Take that hands out. Three, two, one. Go to the left leg only. Three, two, one. Drop those hands and just do the feet on the right side. Three, two, one. the beat. Add the left. Three, two, one. Through the beat. Two right, one left. Three, two, one.